Alright, so to do it properly, bros, this is that cantonment close. We are just right at the heart of Tanjong Paga and the CBD area, and we're gonna bring you to one of the five rooms at a very high floor level. Let's go to block 11, let's go. Alright, so now we are in the unit and this is at Cantonment Close and we are right now at Block 11. It's actually made up of 3, 4 and 5 rooms. 5 rooms is actually very rare because there's only 29 units. If you want to get a unit right here that is less than 20 years old, it's very hard to come by because if you were to look at all the HDB enclave in the whole CBD area, there's only like Pinnacle and Cantonment Close itself. Let's probably start off with the foyer area first and then we'll talk along the way. If you notice, this area here gives you a very good space for your shoe cabinet area. You can actually use this L wall here to build probably like a three panel of shoe carpentry space. And of course, right here is also the home shelter. The owner has done a tic-tac door. Home shelter is actually quite deep. So it's good to have the home shelter which is situated near to the door so that it does not actually stick on into the middle of the house itself. So some of the HGV designs has the bomb shelter actually right beside the common bathroom but because of the way that this unit has been designed it allows a lot of flexibility in the center of the home so you can actually take down walls and make so-called more enlarged space and stuff like that this place if you look at the renovation is in a very mean and pristine condition because the owner has only renovated it about five to six years the whole entire place comes with air condition even for the living and for the fourth bedroom as well so flooring this is laminated timber it gives you a very elongated rectangular hall plus dining space. The dining spot is actually right at that corner. So over here, actually this table, you can actually pull out all the way up to about this zone. You can fit in about 12 sitter right here. But of course, this table is very expensive because our owner is about 7,000 bucks. It's not included in the home. But of course, you like this. We can discuss about the price. This dining set actually matches with the feature wall that the owner has constructed. So it's a very nicely done Harrybone style wooden feel to welcome your guests as you enter the house. Right, so the hall is very long. So if you notice, they have constructed this superbly long built-in bottom TV console space with close to probably about eight pull-out drawers here. So they have also done up the L-box for ceiling, cove light, ceiling fan has been done. Okay, but interestingly, you have this nice pocket sea view. In future, when the Greater Southern Waterfront transformation happens, this whole port is going to shift to further up the Tuas area and this is going to be like a beautiful Southern Waterfront transformation. So you definitely have this view because left and right is already another two blocks But here you have a nice pocket So basically you can enjoy the sea breeze coming in as well so This is also direct south facing Which means that all your rooms and the living area You do not get any direct afternoon sun So before we head to the bedroom zone You can see that there's this very nice glass room So this is actually the self-constructed room So let's bring out the floor plan So originally it's like a huge space here But the owners have decided to make it as a dual function game guest room coupled with a study area and the reading lounge chair. Let's check it out. So this is the self-constructed room. It has a very nice sliding panel, lockable door. Adrian, why do you demo the table? Yeah. Show them this table. All right, Let's so this table costs uh, $10,000. Wow, come let me demo it. Right. All right, so it's a study table in the day but it is a single bed in the evening and the best thing is that you don't have to remove anything from a study table which is superbly convenient yep. made in Germany but uh, also not included with the home but we can discuss about it super convenient that things all stays nicely at the table so easy to do up if you notice, there is also bottom shelvings below the window so that adds on with a lot more storage space as well Alright, why don't we check out the kitchen? Entering the kitchen, you have a bifold door that uh, comes with a timber skirting as well. On the left of the kitchen is the uh, common bathroom that serves all the bedrooms except for the master room. The oven has already been done at your chest level so it's easy for people who utilize a lot of baking needs so you can just easily cook and stuff like that. Tabletop space is great, very well maintained. It's only like five to six years old. This is also like your yard zone. So as you can see, you can stack up the dryer and the washer at the bottom. Now this part have an open view even from your yard area as well. So what I like about this kitchen is that owner has constructed this pantry area. You can put your hot water, coffee machine. Yeah, it's wine. very, very usable. You have like eight pull-out drawers right here. So pull-out drawers are definitely more expensive than the open door drawers. And it's very, very long lasting as well you can keep a lot of stuff so if you notice the top hung has already given you like close to 10 cabinet space and then at the bottom itself and uh, fridge space is generous so 
just a little bit more about the area here. So as mentioned, if you want to stay very near to the CBD, this is the right place to go because over here, you can just stroll over to Tanjong Paga MRT Station. You can also stroll over to Outram Park MRT Station. In future, the new MRT is Cantonment. It's going to be one of the nearest ones just right in front of you. So you'll be served by three MRT stations right here. Okay, once you enter Tanjong Paga, you'll notice that you have a whole array of F&B shops, eatery. So we're going to share with you later when we drive through the area. Behind us, also at the area, there's a lot of conservation shop houses where food, roti pratas and stuff like that are all right there. I think if you stay here, you don't really need a car because Tanjong Paga to Raffles Place is one stop. Raffles Place to City Hall is just one more stop. So you're already in town, you're already in CBD. It's superbly convenient and it's very hard to get a CBD HGB flat that is below 20 years old. Here, the balance list is 82. Yes. We are having a 17-year-old five-room flat. And to get a five-room flat is even harder because it's more rare. Most of the city area HDBs are the three rooms, which are the older types of flats. All right, so let's check out the bedrooms. Let's go. Let's go. First common room is uh, regular in shape and size. You can fit easily a queen bed, not a problem. There's an inbuilt cupboard, three door panels, very good storage space. Comes with aircon, ceiling light as well, ceiling fan. You get to see the sea also from this bedroom. All right, let's go. You have the kids' room, so as you can see, because our owners have kids, there's a lot of stuff here. Baby bunk bed there. So after fitting in a two huge kids' table, you still have so much space to maneuver around. And this is the corner window kind of concept. There's like five different panels of windows right here. But I think you really will love the master room. Let's have a look. You can see there's so much space and luxury to this bedroom itself. This is a king bed, nicely tucked at the corner. And there's also a four huge panel of L-shaped wardrobe can cater to all your clothing needs. So I think it's a very, very clever concept because this four panel a wardrobe actually makes use one of the windows at the master room. But because it is having like a frost effect, it still brings in the light from outside. But you still have one more window at the other side. So there's two sets of windows, but it gives you four panels of corner space. All right, so let's check out the master ensuite. And it comes with a dark color tiles, very easy to maintain. And it comes with a shower screen, standing shower. Also, it comes with an inbuilt mirror with cove lights surrounding it. Vanity top with carpentry below. What a luxurious toilet it is. All right, let's head back to the living room. Okay, so not to mention the whole place has been wallpapered with this very nice creamy feel, hotel-like kind of design. Of course, it's up to you as the new owner to change it whatever way you want. But importantly, you're not buying just the renovation, you're buying the location. And the flat is still relatively new, only 17 years in HGB contact. So why don't we head downstairs, get into our car, and then we continue to have a look at the rest of the location, check out what kind of shops. Hawker Center is all right here. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so now that you have seen the place with uh, Adrian and myself, so we're going to show you the surroundings and of course uh, the amenities, the food here. Once you cross the road, you have this place called Tanjong Paga Plaza and actually that's where the hawker centre and the market is. So there's going to be a lot of good local food out there for you. Alright, so I hope that you enjoy this Block 11 Cantonment Close five room corner superb high floor unit with us click on the link down below the contact number to view the place is also right below as well so uh, melvin lim adrian lim property lim brothers, brothers as always happy we're happy to, to show, show the place, place. all right so if you like this home tour click like subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place